A diaper for the baby? I have to put on a diaper. Since quite a few of you enjoyed my facial waxing video so much, I thought, let's go ahead and get something else waxed. I'm on my way to get my butt waxed. Now, if you guys picked up anything at all from my previous waxing video, it is that I've never gotten anything waxed professionally. To slowly tap into the territory a little bit, we started with the facial waxing, which was borderline traumatizing, but the outcome was nice. And now that we're gonna go ahead and explore that with my butt, I'm a little bit scared. No risk, no fun, you guys, let's go. Should I just take everything off? Yeah. Okay. So before we start, like, I know I'm not growing a national forest, but how bad is the situation? You really less compared to most people. Less here. Okay. Yeah, so it would be easy. It, w w what are you putting on? Coconut oil. Coconut oil? Yeah, so the wax won't pull your skin. I love to bake with coconut oil. It's good for your skin. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is hot. So it's just warm. Is it yeah, hot? Too hot? Maybe this is a sensitive area. Mm. Because it doesn't run like a water. If it runs like a water, that means it's too hot. It can pull up the skin. Mm. Oh god. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, it was a little worse. Oh god. Oh, okay. This is gonna be fun. It's like a mixture between painful and just like a massage. Mm hmm? Like a massage. Really? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. This was not nice. We're getting a little anxious for everything that's to come. This is... Okay, I need to pull myself together. This is a little intense. My left butt cheek is pulsating. It really depends on the area, wow. Some areas are more sensitive than others. Oh, that was not so nice. I think this is gonna hurt. Yeah, but it could be worse. It's really uncomfortable, don't get me wrong. But it's just like a, a sting. Some people are into pain, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Do you have it done before or? No, no. How come you have a lot of short hair? A lot of short hair? Yeah. Genetics. Mm. I know I, I'm naturally quite smooth. I mean, I don't have hair anywhere else. Mm. And the reason I have hair here is because I knew I was gonna come here. Oh. And usually I just trim it. Oh. With like an electric razor for for hygiene, because yeah. I'm a very hygienic person. To be clean and smooth. Yeah, but I wanted to give you like a, a real shot, so I just let it grow. Okay. Mm. Uh, how far done are we? Do you think? Well, half we done. Half Halfway already. done. Yep. Wow. Since it's morning, it's like it's waking me up nicely, giving me a little edge, a little kick. Better than coffee, right? Better than coffee. I'll come here every day. <laughs> If I had more hair. You're lucky, yeah. you don't have more hair. Yeah. So that means normally you don't do it? No, I've never done oh, this before. Okay. Oh my god. Ah. And you say when it grows back, it's gonna be finer? Yes. How many sessions do you think it usually takes until there's barely any hair anymore? It depends though. It depends? Yeah, it depends on the person. If you like this, you don't have a lot of hair. Yeah. It doesn't take long, but it might be take a year. A year? Yeah. Of me coming here how often? Once every six weeks. Once every six weeks in a year. That's... Yeah, that will can help thin out the hair. Like four, five times a year? Yeah. I made a calculation. Two like, months, yeah. It's like seven, eight times a year. What kind of wax are you using? I use soft wax with a strip. Salt wax? Yeah, they call soft wax. Soft wax? Yes, yeah, soft wax. Is it like bee wax? Mm, no, different. They make it, right? I the bees know. make it? No, this I, I don't make it. This is for the professional use. Right. Yeah. So, no, the bees don't make it, okay. It's so interesting. Every time you apply the wax, I feel like you've already been there. Mmm. Mmm. If I pull myself together, I don't have to react to this. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Because of coconut oil. Ah, it's all of the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Here I'm thinking I was pain tolerant. That too. Okay, next, I need you on your side and facing to the wall. Oh god. Now this feels a little... I feel like, I don't know, I feel very exposed. Okay. The sides don't feel that bad. Yeah, because thin hair. The sides almost feel nice. Like stay inside. Okay, this, this is where the magic happens. Wow, this is so warm. Same temperature. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, but maybe here's more sensitive. Does this hurt usually? No. It's okay? 
Yeah, that was not that bad. I'm more afraid of the hair coming back. I feel like it's gonna, cause I don't want any pimples. Um, if you never done this, it might be habit. Uh, yeah. I did not know this. Yeah, until your skin get used to it. Put diaper rash. A rash? A diaper for have, the baby. I have to put on a diaper? No, diaper rash. Oh. Yeah. What is that? Well, the cream for baby. When they put diaper and have the rash. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't have a child. But it's good though. It's help. Okay. Help for the rash after the rash. The weirdest part is probably just looking at the wall completely naked. It feels like I'm being prepped for the army or something. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Ooh, that is very hot. Maybe it's We're just... turning up the temperature. No. <laughs> no? No. Okay. I did facial waxing for the first time as well. And it gave you the pimple? No, oh. but this is less painful. Oh, okay. Because they did my, my ears and everything. Uh-huh. And that hurt very bad, and I didn't know it was going to. Well, actually, like, like it actually the first time, like you have a lot of short hair, it doesn't grow out yet. Yeah. Yeah, this is not Probably that bad. Probably it's just like 80% hair. This is not that bad. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're done. We're done? Wow, oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Does it's that... like someone is sneezing no, on my al butt. Alcohol to prevent alcohol. you from break out. Do I need to roll over again? No. So you get all the angles. That we done already. We're done? Yeah, we done. Whoa. Well, that was fun. All right, and just like that, we're done. Let's pay the price and then do a quick conclusion. And then I need a, a cookie or something. All right, you guys, I'm walking the pain off. I'm recovering. I'm on my way to some cafe to grab some lunch. To be honest, I preferred this experience over the facial waxing. Just because looking back, I think what irritated me so much about the facial waxing was how close it was to everything that's happening, like in my ear, you know, in my nose, so close to my face. But this was a great experience. Also, like the lady who did it said, I don't have a lot of hair naturally, so I'm probably not going to do it again. But I hope it was worth it and you guys enjoyed if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments and take care. Bye.